Did you ever think steampunk projects were too hard and too difficult to make? Well, in this video I will show you that it's not really that hard. Today I'm going to work with two sets of stamps and dies. This is the one with the butterflies and this is the one with the keys. They're both by Craft Sensations and I brought bought them at the action. It's a local store in Holland, like a dollar store. I'm starting with a playing card and I added some texture. First by using the back of a napkin. I just put on glue and put on my napkin and made it wrinkle a little bit so I could get some texture. So that was the first step. And then I added my eggshells because I wanted even more texture. And So I added my glue and my pieces of eggshell and I pushed on it so they broke. So I'm coloring my tag with some bright colors, a green and a blue. Just very random. This is just playing and just having fun. So it doesn't need to be perfect. So I'm drying it in between because you really have to have it absolutely dry, this layer. And then I put on my black layer. So this is actually a bit scary <laughs> that you put on all these beautiful colors and then rub all this black on top of it. I had a little bit much, too much black so I added it on another card that I will use some other time. And I'm taking out a baby wipe and I'm starting wiping off most of my black because I only wanted to have my black in the grooves of the eggshells. So I am keep rubbing on it, not too hard because you don't, don't want to get off the color or the, the eggshells. And then I added a layer of uh, some golden paint. And I kind of used prompts for this from the Pick a Stick ATC challenge. And there were two, uh, three steps. One was adding something black and, or white and that's what I did here. So I added the black and then I added some white splattering. We had an extra prompt and that was that we could use a die. So I used a die cut from Craft Sensations and it's I bought it at the Action in the Netherlands. It's kind of a dollar store. This is a stamp set that also has dies in it. So I'm stamping the same stamp on there with Versamark ink and then going over it with mica powders. So that's giving a pretty shimmer on, on the black.
and then for the next one it's another set also from craft sensations by the action clear stamps and cutting dies they are called i also stamp that one with Versamark ink and then going over with a bronze colored mica powder So now I have a butterfly and a key and I wanted to have that on my tag so I'm fiddling around looking for, for the perfect placement. And then I think I don't want it sticking out so I'm turning my tag and I'm happy with how it is. I'm also adding a little bit of a border with the same mica powder as I used on my key just to give a border and it lifts up my tag my card a bit so what is steampunk steampunk is actually a sort of a mix of things it's science fiction and fantasy and technology industrial steam powered stuff so there are a lot of gears and parts of machinery, but also balloons, uh, airships, and it's kind of in the beginning of 1900. And it's adding stuff together that doesn't belong together. So it's, it's odd. Actually, <laughs> you can do a lot of things and call it steampunk. The steampunk effect is, is also in the colors. Uh, it's mostly darker colors. So thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day and just try it out yourself. Steampunk, it's not that hard. Thank you so much, bye bye.